To most of America, I'm Samantha Bee, the comedian, Samantha Bee, the style icon, Samantha Bee, the author of the 12th most popular line of self-published dinosaur erotica on Amazon Canada. But at home, I'm just mom. From my own parenting experience, I can tell you there's nothing more terrifying than a teenage girl. And right now, one teenage girl in particular is scaring the crap out of all of us. What's your message to world leaders today? My message is that we'll be watching you. And she means it too. This morning I woke up and she was standing over my bed. <laughs> That, of course, is Greta Thunberg, the 16-year-old Swedish climate activist who's been traveling the world with one simple message. She's just a girl standing in front of a group of world leaders asking them to do something before the whole planet melts and we all die. You all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away and come here saying that you're doing enough when the politics and solutions needed are still nowhere in sight. The only thing scarier than a 16-year-old girl is a 16-year-old girl with an agenda who knows how to hold a grudge. <laughs> Greta Thunberg terrifies me and I love her for it. She doesn't want to inspire us or give us hope. She wants to give us nightmares because we deserve them. <laughs> Greta is bringing something very important to the discourse about climate change. Shame. She's traveled all over the world, ripping into our craven leaders like a miniature Don Rickles in braids. And you know what? <laughs> it is working. Her international shaming tour has led the EU to commit hundreds of billions of euros to combating climate change. She got the British Parliament to declare a climate emergency and pledge to zero out its carbon emissions by 2050. And she got the band Scorpions to finally stop rocking everyone like a hurricane. <laughs> Hurricanes are dangerous, Scorpions. Also, you can't can't rhyme, here I am, with her a camp. Oh my God, you can. <laughs> of course, Greta's campaign has brought out a fierce backlash from misogynists because preserving a livable planet has somehow become a threat to the entitlements of masculine primacy. According to a recent study, men may even be less likely to recycle just because they're worried people will think they're gay. Look. <laughs> The only way people will think you're gay for recycling is if you return cans on a date with your partner who is a man and who is also gay. <laughs> the ludicrous resistance to climate change has become so deeply entrenched, especially among America's right-wing man-children, that an actual woman-child is now our best hope for survival. You are failing us, but the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say we will never forgive you. Do you like the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> Which one is your favorite? <laughs> Look, thank you, Greta, you scare me because you tell the truth. And the next time I'm considering turning up the AC because my heater's too hot, I'll see your face because I painted it on my wall. And if you ever forgive us for failing you, I'll never forgive you.